Okay, so which personality type is the biggest cat lover and how many cats will you get based on your personal type? Which of the 16 personalities loves cats the most? Okay, so cats versus dogs, which personal type comes out on top? Let's talk about this article. So what I've found is that there is one personal type that really shines when it comes to pets and especially cats and it's INFPs. Some INFPs will even dress like meow like and act like cats in reality. I mean, okay, this is extreme, uh, but definitely I think you will get about four or five cats on average if you're an INFP throughout your life. Uh, some will even have more. Another type that really likes cats that I've found is the INTP personal type. And I think INTPs on average have more cats than they have romantic partners. And yeah, um, I can understand that because cats are just awesome, of course. Another type that is a big cat lover is uh, the ISFP. So here already you see a pattern, okay, IPs, IPs love cats. The ISFPs, uh, I think ISFPs will have their very own zoos. So lots of animals and lots of different kinds of animals all tend to get along really well with ISFPs. Another surprise is the ENFP personnel type. And now ENFPs, they love cats because I think cats really represent free spiritedness and freedom. And that's something that an ENFP will really resonate with. Now, the thing is, you love cats as long as somebody else has to clean the litter box because obviously who would like to do that? Why would you do that? That's just tar terrible and smells awful. Anyways, if you look at it more in depth, what you can see is ISTPs. The ISTPs, also IPs. Uh, however, ISTPs tend to prefer stillness and quietness and yeah, low maintenance things. So uh, cats can be sometimes a bit annoying. So one to two cats is normal for an ISTP. I know ISTPs that love cats and have always want to have at least one cat, but they prefer cats because they are very easy animals, easy to take care of. Another type that um, loves cats is the ENTP. No surprise there. ENTPs love cats because they can be used for scientific experiments. So <laughs> you can do a lot of things with cats and you can uh, create a lot of fun things and you can uh, have a lot of fun experiences with cats. Hopefully ethically uh, as well. Uh, that's what I would recommend. Be nice to animals because say karma is real and it's karma is coming to get you. Another type that really likes cats is ESFPs, but I think ESFPs prefer as well a bit more fun and stimulation. And I think cats are not always that fun to look at. I mean, half the day they asleep. And so as an ESFP, sometimes it can be like, yeah, when are you going to do a trick? When are you going to do something fun? <laughs> and uh, why won't you come to my parties? So yeah, that's that. Another type that is really kind of on in between, I think, is the ESTP personnel type. And I think ESTPs, they are a little bit on the cusp. Like they could also just as well get a dog. And I think a lot of ESTPs would prefer dogs. So they're a bit in between. Some ESTPs like cats and some like dogs. I said cats first because I think they're at least a bit easier for an ESTP. Now, if you're looking at it a bit more in depth, uh, if you start going down a bit, Oh, oh, spoilers. Uh, what you'll see is, uh, yeah, the next type is the INFJ. And okay, I've shows INFJs as kind of the metal type here because I think INFJs will like cats or they will like dogs. And it kind of depends to what you want. So if their family members prefer cats, then of course they'll get a cat. And if their family members prefer dogs, the INFJ will be like, yeah, sure, you can get a dog. <laughs> so an INFJ can kind of like both. And it's kind of in between on this scale. That's just what I've noticed. INFJs are pretty open to compromise when it comes to animals. And they like cats just about as much as they like dogs. Then, okay, INTJs. INTJs, they have a slight preference for dogs because they can be trained. <laughs> yeah, and I think INTJs, on average, INTJs are quite, uh, they like control and they like to be the one in charge. And they like to, uh, and also with dogs, it's very important that the dog is well-trained and that the dog is, uh, listens to you and that they follow your routine and that they uh, follow you on leash. And so I think overall, INTJs as judging types have a slight preference for a dog. So, okay, here you'll see it. Perceiving types prefer cats, judging types prefer dogs. 
This is also true for ISFJs. ISFJs just find dogs simply cuter, more obedient, more loyal, things that an ISFJ really inspires and enjoys and values. Another type is, of course, the ISTJ. And already you notice here, the dog gets a bit bigger. So yeah, ISTJs have a smaller preference for a bit bigger dogs. Not very big, not too big, but ISTJs do like dogs. and They do like medium-sized dogs that are loyal and family-oriented and uh, well-trained, just like the INTJs dogs. Another type that really likes dogs and big dogs is the ENFJ. I think the ENFJ just likes to have a human-sized dog, somebody they can pet and be close to, and somebody that can follow them on their adventures and share someone to share your life with, you know, a bit like a life partner, but in an animal size. And yeah, that just uh, goes on. Okay, here it gets a bit more exciting. Uh, ENTJs. ENTJs, they like dogs, the better, the more big size and the more intimidating they are. And this is also true for ESFJs, except ESFJs, they like to split it. They like to have as many dogs as possible and preferably a lot of small dogs, uh, dogs that they can host, dress up with and have parties together with. So if you can create a good, fun environment full of dogs and barks and people that can play with you, okay, that's just awesome. That's just the ESFJ dream. <laughs> and Finally, we get to the ESTJ. ESTJs love dogs. And of course, they like dogs to be natural guardians and protectors. So you rather have the dog that's bigger uh, than any human, uh, the dog that is the biggest, the dog with the loudest bark, and the dog that will listen to your every command. So if you need somebody killed, your dog is there to do your job. Anyways, that's my video on dogs and on cats what do you prefer are you a cat lover or are you a dog lover and um, which is your favorite personal type